What is going on my friends and uh, welcome back once again to Terry's Theories. I am Terry. Alright guys, so I've got a couple of videos that I want to share with you guys. I've kind of been um, having a little downtime. Y'all know I've had a, a close friend that passed away so I'm trying to pick things back up. And I want to start out here with a video from Santa Clara, California. It was recorded on July uh, the 29th. And um, what we've got here are two ladies, uh, uh, a lady and her aunt were traveling uh, southbound on Interstate 101 in California near Fair Oaks, uh, to be precise, close to exit 394 in Santa Clara, when they noticed something off to the right. At, at first glance, you think, well, this is an airplane. At closer inspection, you can tell that this object really doesn't have wings, and at the last possible second, to me, it looks like it just shoots off. Now, I want you to check this out. It happens really quick, so I'm gonna slow it down after you see the original video and show to you what I am what I found, what I saw. All right, guys, check this out. Here we go. It is, it's a UFO, bro. It's like moving side to side, bro. No, no, I'm not camping, bro. You're not camping, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Stop, no, literally, it's, it's like, no, it is. It is. It is a flying saucer. Are you the only ones looking at it, though? Yes. What do you well, think? Why? Because you're blind. It's right there, way I see it. Oh, well, you finally, blind. you no, finally see, see it. it. Uh -huh. I told you it wasn't turning black. Like it you was. See it. I said, why well, wasn't it green? Oh, we lost it over the hedges. Bro, that thing, my friend, is a freak. Look, it disappeared. It just went under the hedges. Oh, it went to all right so the only reason i do think this is a ufo is you'll see right here this object just takes off it's not her moving the camera at least i don't think it is now i slowed it down uh and you can see you know they're watching it and you can see that she moves the camera you see the part of the car come into view and then it comes back out right here and then as it comes to the trees it just shoots off right there it's gone so what's your take on this do you think that we have an object that actually just shoots off I mean, it seems pretty clear right here, and then it just takes off. So that's 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 my dilemma on this one. Tell me what your opinion is. All right, guys, so our next video is from across the pond, from Braxton, Great Britain. This takes place on July the 17th. And I want you to check this out. We have a gentleman who catches three objects in the sky, and, and it catches his attention. He starts watching them, and then what happens is each three lights another light comes out right beside it they're all in uniform so i'm kind of confused on what this could be i thought first this are planes on approach but then again we have these other lights that come out beside it so give me your opinion what do you think that we are witnessing here all right guys check this out here we go oh my god look at this Just one left. Gone. <sighs> Blood. Gone. 
as the moon. Oh, I'm back. Oh, do come on. So it is rather strange. Now, each one of these larger lights has, you know, one or two smaller ones that seem to be in the same position on each each light. So what could that be? What kind of aircraft do we have that would do something like that? Are we looking at more than just one aircraft flying in some type of uh, formation? Or do we have something else going on? I guess that's why I'm showing it to you because it is definitely strange give me your opinion tell me what you think that it is that we're seeing all right guys i got one last video to share with you this comes from waterbury connecticut uh, it was recorded this year 2021 on uh, january the 7th this one's kind of special because the excitement and the astonishment in the man's voice as he is talking about what he is seeing. I mean, he cannot believe it. He is just totally, you know, beside himself about this sighting. Now, this is a red orb sighting. We see so many of these sightings. I do, especially on a daily basis as I search for new videos to share with you guys. I see them so much that I dismiss them. And maybe I should stop doing that. Maybe there's more to it. You know, a lot of people write this up as, you know, a Chinese lantern or you know a skyline or however you want to put it and i just don't feel that that is the case on all of these maybe some yes but the one and two orbs that are just slowly creeping across the sky i don't know i get a, a different kind of feel for those but maybe that's just me and i could be totally wrong but i don't know check this video out tell me what you think and as always let's talk about it all right guys here we go Look at that light, look at that light, Bill. Look at that light. Look at that light. Look at it. What is that? Look, it's flying away, Bill. What the f is that? It's right over my head. Look at it. Look at it. It's a f shit, bro, and it's making no f noise. Look how low it is. It's about to go over the house. It's about to go over the house. It's over. 
I can't see it no more. It's over. Look, look, look at it. Look, bro. Look at what? All right, so tell me your opinion. Tell me what you think. Are we seeing, once again, uh, some type of sky lantern, or do we have a uh, strange craft emitting a red light, a fiery red light? I've seen these objects drop fireballs or other small red orbs. I've seen them jet off in an instant. Tell me your story. Tell me what you've seen with this type of sighting. Uh, some are, you know, convinced that we're is this something man-made, that it's just uh, somebody releasing a lantern. But whenever I see these, of course, I have seen them where you can tell, you know, a group of them are released. You can see them rising from the ground. They do look like somebody released lanterns. And then again, we come across those that are just one or two, maybe, maybe sometimes three orbs in the night sky. Tell me your opinion. Tell me your experience. Have you seen one personally? Um, you know, I have. In my home, I saw it was a yellowish color light that was hovering close over, over the housetops. And, of course, I didn't have a camera or a phone on me to make the recording. That's usually how that goes. And um, it didn't look like a lantern to me. It looked like something, something else. But tell me what you think. And as always, let's talk about it. All right, guys, so I guess I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to Terry's Theories. And I'll love to hear your theories on uh, on these videos that I've showed you. And maybe a story, if you've got one that you would like to tell, or even a video that you would like to share. You can send me an email at Terry's Theories at Outlook.com. Uh, or we can just send me an email about your story. And, and we can talk about that as well. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. This is Terry with Terry's Theories. Terry out.